hello developers in this video we are going to build this beautiful carousel in flutter without using any third party packages from pub.dev and believe me it's going to be super easy to develop this carousel so without further delay let's get started okay so here you can see i have already developed this carousel and it's working perfectly fine and here you can see nice dot indicator as well so in this video i'm not going to remove everything and write from scratch of course that's time consuming process and i don't want that that's why i'm going to explain the code like how you can start and build this using the flutter components so as you can see this is the main application where it starts and this is the material app so inside the home of material page this is the home page and nothing fancy here so on the home page this is a stateful widget and here inside the build up widget we have scaffold on the app bar we have simple app bar you can remove it if you want if you don't want you can remove the app bar if you don't want this app bar but let me put it okay so here we have this padding and inside padding we have column and inside the children of column first i'm giving this space for looking it clear and after that i am putting a stack here so why i am putting a stack so that is basically for the left and the right slides look little faded so that's why i have used this stack so uh let's see the main component that is page view so this beautiful slider is developed using the page view widget and the good thing is that this page view is inbuilt widget of flutter that comes under widget slash page view dot dot so we don't need any external packages for this and here I have assigned this simple controller to this page view this controller and it basically controls couple of things and this is just a simple page controller and here we have just given the viewport fraction so what is viewport fraction here we can see the fraction of the viewport that each page should be occupied so basically in this UI we can see the previous and the next slides little bit so viewport defined how much to show the previous and next slides so if i will give it something like 0.6 then it will show more of the previous and next slides so let me hot restart okay so now you can see it is showing more of the previous and next slides and if i will give it something like 0.9 it varies between 0 to 1 so if i will give it 0.9 then you can see very less uh, fraction of previous and next page is visible so 0.8 looks good to me that's why i have given it 0.8 okay so now you have clear understanding of this controller here there are other couple of things that you can pass like initial page and keep page but uh, that depends on your use case so this controller is now clear and i will explain this on page change later so first let's understand the children so inside the children we can pass any widget you can pass image you can pass uh, anything you can pass some widget so i have created this page item widget and uh, because i have to repetitively use it that's why i have created a custom widget for it so this is the page item widget that takes color and basically it's returns a container with eight padding from all sides so that we can see this is spacing and uh, this is the color that is like green uh, blue and uh, border radius is basically this radius that we are giving here and this is the height and width for the container that we can see so it will be in your case like it will be any image or any other uh, component that you want to show in this slider so this is just a dummy page item so inside the children you can uh, give any widget or anything you want 
now you can see this row that is for this faded effect on the previous and next and uh, this is after this stack like after this page view that's why we have used this stack to show this row on the top of this page view so we have this row and main axis alignment space between because there is only two children we have to uh, give the uh, gap between these two that's why this space between is necessary and inside the container like first container just give the width according to your requirement of this viewport fraction it depends on your viewport fraction that you have given and uh, inside the decoration given some uh, color gradient to make it faded and similarly for the right side and i think like here instead of repeating two times i can create a custom uh, component and reuse it that will be a better practice okay so this was the fading effect on this carousel it will show the previous and next slides little faded if you don't want this then you can comment this or you can skip this part of code and you can see the complete fraction of the page but uh, this looks very good to me that's why i'm going to keep it so now you can see this beautiful fade effect on the slides and uh, last but not least we have this padding and dot indicator so basically this dot indicator is for showing these dots and here number of dots are three because there is only three slide and active dot index we have to pass it from this state that's why i have created this state variable active index and uh, dot size 15 color green so basically this dot indicator is a custom widget that i have created here so you can see this dot indicator it takes dot size number of dots active dot index color and based on this option it generates a dot so inside the row because it's row list dot generate number of dots and uh, based on this index we create this dot indicator circle and is active will, will basically like here the zero index is active so because this index become the equal to of active dot index and dot size is also required by this dot indicator circle this is the final dot indicator circle widget and it's wrapped with opacity uh, to show the inactive dots and uh, active dots as well so if it's active then the opacity is 1 and if it's inactive then opacity is 0.3 and it is wrapped with animated container to show little bit animation effect from dot shift and uh, here is the margin height width is based on the dot size so if you will give bigger dot size then it will take some bigger height width and here is the decoration border radius color the provided color so this was the dot indicator for this showing dots and uh, this is the on page change so this callbacks we get from page view so once we change the page we go from one slide to another slide then we then this callback is called and it gives the value and based on this value we are changing the state and that is the active index to the given value so if i will go from index 0 to index 1 this will be called on page changed and it will return give 1 here and inside the set state we are setting active index to 1 that's why we can see this dot indicator on the first on the second i mean on the index 1 circle so this is how we can create uh, this type of beautiful carousel in flutter in just few lines of code and i hope uh, this will be very helpful for you because generally for the this type of 
uh, things we use external packages and i would not recommend that because if we can easily build such type of things then why to use any external package thanks for watching this video have a great day